Hey there, it's video time. Another, it's another beautiful Saturday here in Atlanta. And uh, I'm sipping my smoothie that I just made. Probably look at the, uh, the video either just before this or just after this in the playlist. This is that uh, strawberry, blueberry, banana, and pineapple smoothie with some apple juice. Really good. Mmm. Mmm. You can't go wrong with those kind of ingredients at all. Really good. I did a, about 50 or 55 miles on the bike today, so this is going to help replenish those glycogen stores and get some carbohydrates in me for uh, another big ride tomorrow. Probably about another 55 or 60 tomorrow. So one more thing that I just got to was a book. I got this Thrive by uh, Brendan Brazier. And I just, I just cracked it open the other night, but uh, I've heard good things about it and I wanna learn more about what he has to say about plant-based nutrition and being an athlete. That's, that's mainly who it caters to is athletes who want to uh, excel and, and thrive doing a plant-based diet. So today's video is gonna be on uh, my struggles with the plant-based lifestyle. I've been, um, going I've been doing this plant-based hey sure all right anyway so the topic for today's video is my struggles the struggles that I've had with this plant-based lifestyle so I started this plant-based lifestyle in January of 2011 uh, right after I watched the movie forks over knives it was such an amazing movie. It blew my mind. It just gave me so many more things to think about. And uh, of course, I did more research. And kind of, you know, in January, I said, you know, I can do this. I can, I can. The only dairy, meat and dairy products that I ate at that point were I had quite a bit of Greek yogurt. I probably drank a gallon, close to a gallon of milk a week. Um, very little meat. I might have eaten chicken like once a month. I just didn't like cooking it. Um, so that was basically it. Greek yogurt, milk, and the occasional piece of meat, and maybe some cheese now and then. So it wasn't really that hard for me to ditch that stuff and go all plant-based. Anyway, no matter what you're doing, whether it's a plant-based diet, uh, or learning a new sport, or even repairing a toilet, if you don't know how to do something, it's always nice to hear that you're not the only one with those struggles, uh, at least for me. Um, and so it's nice to hear from someone else that, you know, I'm going through the same thing. I'm going through the same struggles as you are. So this movie is going to kind of give you what I've struggled with and what I've worked on in the last three years and how I've addressed those things. So the first one of my struggles uh, on a plant-based diet was, is, uh, is variety. I, I don't want to say I'm, I'm not a lazy person. I just, I don't like spending a lot of time making food. And I know, you know, even though, even though I'm single and have no kids, uh, I just don't, I still don't like making, you know, spending a lot of time making food. So the trouble is getting enough variety in, um, my, you know, I could probably name for you on one hand or, or two hands where I get 90% of my calories. You ready? For breakfast and lunch, it's fruit, bananas, uh, berries, papaya, watermelon, uh, and then if I'm not, if I either don't have fruit or I'm just really not feeling the fruit that morning or it's not cut up or ready. I have oatmeal, which is okay. I have oatmeal with some, some different things in, in it. Um, and then for dinner, it's usually potatoes, rice, or pasta. I'm trying to think if that's it. So not a whole lot of variety and maybe the occasional salad. Not a whole lot of variety, although I feel good. I'm trying to you know, go to the DeKalb Farmer's Market more often and 
buy some different greens or some different um, some different produce to get some more variety in. So that's something I've been aware of for the last three years, uh, but just get more variety in. The second thing is weight loss. So one of my friends up in New York who became plant-based after I did, I think maybe in part because of me, he's, he's an athlete, uh, he, he slimmed down tremendously. He became so much more fit. Um, he probably lost 30 pounds on the plant-based diet. And we talked a lot about what he was doing, what he was eating. He's like, man, I can't eat enough. I'm constantly eating. And uh, he is super lean. Now, everything, all the YouTube movies I've watched, everything I've read says you'll naturally lean up over time. You'll get lean. You know, Durian Ryder says you'll, you'll just, just shrink up if you're eating all these bananas and everything. Um, honestly, I haven't seen that. I, you know, when I graduated high school, which was 2000, May of 2006, I weighed about 100 and the low 190s, we'll say. I'm still at the low 190s. Um, so is that necessarily a problem? No. I, you know, I'm still a believer that any excess weight that you have will come off naturally. Um, but as a cyclist, I'd kind of like to lean up a little bit and become a little bit more um, efficient on the bike, a better power to weight ratio. But again, I didn't see the weight loss immediately. Um, but I think if you're if you're watching this and if you're, you know, I wasn't overweight though. I wasn't necessarily overweight. Um, I'm six feet tall, 190 or 195. I'm I'm thick. I got I got a big upper body. If you're watching this and you're pretty overweight, like you could lose 50 or 100 pounds, you will see the weight loss a lot quicker. I guarantee that. Um, so, weight loss. Don't. Uh, moral of the story here is. Don't get too hung up about it, all right? The weight will come off naturally. And uh, just, you know, just know that you're doing the right thing by eating plants. Uh, the third thing is something that, again, I'm not uh, with full disclosure here and being completely transparent. I think it helps other people to know that I struggled with what I call binging, um, not on animal foods, but on peanut butter. Put any nut butter in front of me at night and I just I eat it by the spoonful um, maybe that's a reason why I haven't seen the weight loss yet but uh, I've becoming I've, be, I've gotten a lot better with it in grad school and when I first moved to Georgia two years ago um, uh, it was it was bad so I've gotten a lot better with it um, and uh, you know I've realized in, in uh, researching this lifestyle, the reason why I was binging was probably because I wasn't getting enough carbohydrate calories in. And I'm, my, my mind, my head is craving something. Um, and just, you know, oh, it's the mouth feel of the peanut butter. It's just, it's good. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good if you have it, a, you know, a, a tablespoon a day maybe, but not like 10. Um, so, you know, I've had issues with binging on foods that I probably shouldn't eat a whole lot of but they've been plant-based foods so I'm working on that uh, this next one doesn't really necessarily have to do with the plant-based lifestyle but it has to do more of with my my personal lifestyle and that is simply um, getting to bed um, I've been in this really bad habit of, of getting to bed really late like past midnight and that's not good you know I have the opportunity some mornings to sleep in so I'm just like oh, I'll just sleep in you know tomorrow morning but you know you sleep in till 9 or 10 o'clock and it's like half your morning's gone and you can't do anything so uh, I need to uh, you know I'm just thinking back to Durian Rider he he professes sleep water sugar um, get your sleep get your water and get your sugar in and, and get some exercise in. So um, he's right. He's absolutely right. I'm not saying he's wrong. Uh, sleep is very important, especially for a plant-based, especially for an athlete. You know, you got to recover. So I got to get into a better state of mind and, and get to bed earlier and not fart around on YouTube and look up these these weird YouTube videos. Um, so 
a note with uh, cheating with food, and maybe this will go back to um, either the, the peanut butter binging, which, uh, so if you're, if you're inclined to cheat with food, cheat with something, if you're craving something and you're on the plant-based lifestyle and you're craving something and you eat it, what I always say to people who say, you know, uh, oh, I, I couldn't live without cheese, or I, I would, I would sneak cheese, you know, or or sneak something, sneak soda. My, what I tell them is, if you don't buy it, you won't eat it. So if you don't think you can live without soda, if you don't think you can live without cheese, who buys the groceries? It's probably you. It's probably yourself. Uh, so if you're buying the groceries, if you don't buy it, you won't eat it, um, and that's the easiest way to do it. Plus, you'll you'll save money that way, but not buying items you don't need or that aren't healthy for you. Um, so that is pretty much the end of the notes that I took on my struggles with a plant-based lifestyle. Um, still going strong. I'm working. At least I'm I'm acknowledging what the struggles are, and I'm working on them. Uh, becoming an expert on anything doesn't happen overnight. So I'm still learning, uh, hence the Thrive Nutrition book. I'm still trying to uh, educate myself on the intricacies of a plant-based lifestyle and how I can make myself healthier. So if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll have more coming. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. I get about, I'm averaging about one or two per video, but I'd love to hear from you and I will get back to you, I promise. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.